Hold on. You're telling me since I work out my muscles, oh, I will get better at things that involve those muscles. I, I just started mouse and keyboard gaming, right? Like, mm -hmm. I've console gamed for the past 20 years. 20 years! I've never mouse and keyboard gamed. So I got off, I, I decided, you know, hey, here's the ways we can get better at gaming. Instead of going into a Fortnite match, I'm going to go into creative, and I'm gonna figure out what I need to do, and I'm gonna do it over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I did that for 20 minutes. Then, oh my god, did my hand hurt. Oh! All right, it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> Tell me, if I'm going into mouse and keyboard gaming for the mm -hmm. first time, or if I'm a keyboard gamer and I am just now realizing that, hey, maybe I should not do that. What are some things that I can do to prevent injuries? Oh, the biggest thing that I find is just a simple wrist support, especially with the keyboard and, and with the mouse these days, because a lot of the keyboards are raised up and your wrist is constantly like this. That's putting pressure on your median nerve right there. And if you're playing that prolonged, that's just gonna bother it even more and more. And same with your mouse, you're in that same position. So anything to just kind of keep that wrist in neutral position mm -hmm. and reduce the compression of the median nerve mm -hmm. is definitely gonna help to start. Mm -hmm. Let me just refer to my list of questions I had for you real quick. <laughs> start, you definitely wanna do just some simple stretching. You can just go like this and try to bring your elbows up as much as you can. Some of you might not even be able to get to this, and that's okay. You don't have to push it too much, but stretching those muscles is great. And so actually the muscles you're stretching are in the forearm here and here. Um, because in the hand, there, there are of course some muscles, but it's very much uh, tendons and ligaments in the, in the hands. Doing that, do you feel like the tips of your fingers all want to like curl? Oh my god, they want to curl so bad. Okay, and that's okay. So you really get it to where it's straight and push a little bit. You don't want to do, well, you don't want to do too much because you're That'll just aggravate your median nerve. Yeah. That. So that's a really great point, Becca, that you bring up. Sharp no. pain? A sharp pain is bad. If you have a sharp pain, stop doing it. And some uh, tingling and numbness. You want to avoid that as well. Because what does tingling and numbness mean? Nerve pain, nerve damage. It's the same thing as if you if you fall asleep on your arm and you have mm. your, ner your nerve goes to sleep. In the short yeah. term, completely recoverable. You're fine. <laughs> But if you let it go, it's gonna it's gonna resort to permanent nerve damage. Me, I my forearms are an issue, right? But like I have mm. issues with my individual. So when I transition to mouse and keyboard gaming, my individual fingers get tired. So yes. uh, so for example, when I'm when I'm gaming on my console, I'm just using these fingers. But if I'm gaming on my mouse and keyboard, my pinky and my ring finger are doing a lot of work. This is engaging muscles that I've really never engaged before, like my abductor digiti minimi, my lumbricals. Do you have any stretches particularly for those muscles that I can do? Stretches will help with the initial like feeling that you're feeling, the fatigue in the mm -hmm. muscle. But the biggest thing you said was your muscles are tired. They're tired. So. So tight, tiny. I think about a rock climber. You think about those rock climbers who can do like index finger pull-ups. They're insane, right? So basically that means the muscles in your hands can get stronger, just like any other muscle in your body. So you're saying I can get swole in my hand? <laughs> you can get swole, man. Your hands are muscle, have muscles just like every other muscle in your body. And actually, a lot of your, your finger muscles are in your forearm. They're all the way attached to your elbow. They go all the way up here, and the tendons attach all the way to the tip of your fingers. It's strengthening your some of your forearm muscles that are in turn going to help some of the hand muscles. Um, so some simple ways to do that is by individually doing an isometric strengthening, uh, I'm sorry, an isometric contraction to strengthen your fingers. Isometric so, meaning maintaining the same length at the same time. Right, so you mm -hmm. are pushing against your finger and they're not moving. That's how you know so, the real doctor, that wasn't a planned comment. And so I guess, I mean, most people are right-handed, so it's your left hand that would be using the keys more, which are going to fatigue. Hey. Cat. I'm trying to learn, cat! <laughs> in, your, in your mouse hand, it's more so going to be your, your wrist. You're gonna, there's different stretches to focus on there. But with your keyboard hand, you do want to focus on your individual fingers. So doing simple, just having your pinky push against one finger, push against it, push against it, Which hold it Which finger am I pushing against? Oh, this finger. So I'm doing this. So my finger's going out to the side, and I'm taking another finger from another hand, and I'm pushing against it. Yeah, you can all directions. You can go out to the side, you can go straight down inflection, you can push behind for extension. Mm. 
which you might find uh, some di some directions are pretty weak. Oh, um, all so directions are pretty weak. <laughs> so you're telling me, hold on, you're telling me that if I work out my muscles, mm -hmm. I will get better at things that involve those muscles. I believe that is what I'm saying. Isn't that funny <laughs> that people that like that's not that's not brand new information to anyone no. in this stream, right? Because this stream is full of intelligent human beings. Right? Like everyone in this stream is, is in this stream because they saw my content on Twitter. They know that I have more than half a brain and they're now here because they also have more than half a brain. But the fact that most professional esports athletes look at gaming without a professional esports professional athletic mindset blows my mind. It blows my mind. If you work on a specific muscle, it's going to improve. Mm -hmm. We all know that. We all know that. Mm -hmm. If you do bicep curls, your biceps are going to get bigger. But somehow, we don't think esports falls into that category. It can be that simple at times. It's just your the endurance of your muscle is being tested when you're playing video games for long periods of time. And you can equate this to bodybuilders. They generally have at least one day off a week, right? Like rest time is just as important. Um, in video games, like mm -hmm. your muscles need a break. If you're playing this for eight hours, oh, first of all, that's too much. Too many hours. That's, that's too many lot. hours. Yeah, it really is. Um, it's just such repetitive motion. And if you're doing it in the wrong way, that's just absolutely going to affect your hands. Um, so if you're at least able to take care of them the best you can with just some stretches, some strengthening on an off day or just a little bit of strengthening maybe in the morning but taking a, like at least an hour break between strengthening until you're playing your games take a break while you're playing absolutely it's taking a toll on your hands you guys all make the comments of mm -hmm. oh why does my wrist hurt why does mm -hmm. this hurt i'm using it too much um you're using it too much. Play. why does it hurt because i'm using it too much